Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm ObscureAngelBT and for today what I have here is Shyness, the Lightning Kingdom. So this game was an indie game but that now have been published by Focus Interactive. So it's developed by Anigami and it's using Unreal Engine 3 which is very lightweight. So this is an action RPG game that uh, promises to fix the action RPG games. It is actually very interesting. But now taking a look to the more uh, technical things of the game, the maximum frame rate you can go with this game is 60 FPS. As for the settings, I'm using completely maxed out settings at 1080p. No VSync because... Well, because of the recording as you know, but anyway the game is locked to 60 FPS so you can use VSync if you have a 60 hertz monitor. And this is pretty much the configurations that you can make to the keys. I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. And I'm going to start a little bit more forward than the beginning, but not too much, so you can see even some tutorial things about the game. So the game for me clearly resembles a lot the Japanese titles, but instead of being like uh, Japanese RPGs, which is third basis, you have actually a complete um, combat system that you can use magic, you can use uh, blocks, parries, just like Dark Souls. Uh, well, this is just a way to compare because this game has nothing to do with Dark Souls, not even environments or the monsters. So it's very Japanese style despite the developers being French. And it is actually very very interesting. It is not that expensive on Steam. So it's a nice grab that uh, if you want uh, this game. Uh, as usual, by now I'm left a link uh, on the description for the game if you want to buy it through Steam, as well as a link to the Kingwin as soon as it is available. It might not be available, but I will might upload the link later. That if you buy through Kingwin, you'll be directly supporting the channel. So it's really up to you if you want to, to buy through Kingwin or through Steam. But again, if you buy through Kingwin through that link, you will be directly supporting uh, me in order to get more games, better giveaways and, you know, a new system. Okay, so one of the things that uh, I personally loved this game was the environment and pretty much a combat system again, because most of the JOT RPGs it's just turn based. It's not that I'm against turn based, I played a lot of Pokemon, just like everyone else in the 90s or in the early 2000s. But uh, for some reason I really liked a lot the combat system, a little bit more forward into the video you will see a little bit of the magic combat system which is a little bit different, it clearly reminds me of the airbender movie since you can use water, fire, um, rock I guess, I'm not sure, you can use multiple types of magic depending on the enemies that you are fighting and the environments that you are using. So, uh, a very interesting game, and as you can see it can run great at 1080p 60fps. So, that's pretty much it that I want to talk about Shyness the Lightning Kingdom. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video, in case you are curious about the game. And if you want to check the results without recording, just check on the description of the video or by the end of it. Okay, thanks for watching, and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.
Hello boys and girls, welcome to the performance section of the video, so without too much to tell, what we can say is that the game is running on the maximum settings. With 1080p I got an average of 59, so looking to the graph you can see clearly that the game runs at 60fps, but have a lot of drops between the 50s and the 60s. This is not because of the GPU, this is maybe because of CPU or something. Uh, this type of stuff is really common on the Unreal Engine 3 games, but in this one it seems to happen more often. Uh, there, are, there are a ton of drops, they aren't too much noticeable and it was only 14% of the times, so it was completely fine. So the game uses 900 megabytes of VRAM and as for the RAM usage, it, it uses 4.7 gigabytes of RAM. So this game uses a lot of RAM for the, for the actual game that it is, because this game runs at 64 bits and because of that it demands more RAM. Okay. As for the CPU usage, it was between the 40s and the 80%. Uh, the AI usage on the CPU is pretty much at the very beginning when it's uh, actually um, trying to load all the textures at once. But the GPU usage was uh, between the 50s and the 90%. This was uh, because of the lock to the 60 FPS. So the game runs just fine. That's the bottom of the line with the maximum settings at 60 FPS with small drops that are pretty much unnoticeable. That's all that I want to talk about Shyness, the Viking Kingdom. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.